If you go back in the um, history of bicycles, over 100 years ago, people rode nothing but unpaved roads. So one could say, oh, well, you know, off-road riding, that started when bicycles started, which now everybody takes for granted. But back in the uh, 60s, 70s, it was a radical proposition. There was this whole place where people would go to, this shrine, where it was like so close to a major crazy city, San Francisco, yet at the same time, you could get so far away. The golden key was this thing called a balloon tire bike. And originally it was, you know, found objects. It was bikes that were found in secondhand stores and, and uh, you know, the Goodwill or the dumps. What happened here was a mongrelized bike. I mean, some people, half the people would spit on it and say, this is a piece of junk. Are you out of your mind? And the other half would say, oh, that's what I want. I need that thing. Somebody asked me like 10 years ago, what's the biggest advance in the mountain bike? I said, the trail. That whole technique, artistry, has seeped out and is just starting to cover the earth. The ultimate trail building started out of Vancouver and uh, the BC area. And the trail builders up there, some of them have become sort of like underground cult heroes. <laughs>